Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, bro, I swear that I fucking... I fucking hate wireless... See, I'm so fucking pissed off. I fucking call them wireless headphones when they're fucking wired headphones. I fucking hate wired headphones. Any friggin' manufacturer or corporation still making fucking wired headphones needs to shoot yourself in the fucking face. I fucking hate them. I hate them. I can never just like dip into like my side knee trouser pocket to go and get something and then bring myself back up without the fucking headphones being caught on something and then pap falling out my ear. I can never walk past the kitchen fucking drawer without. What the fuck am I even talking about fucking headphones? Bro, look. Social media makes me laugh. I swear down to you, bro. Social media fucking makes me laugh, particularly Instagram. Even though I love Instagram, but at times it has its super fucking shortcomings. Hey, the fucking joke. I saw this video. I saw this video. You've probably seen the video too. Because the memes have been flying around like fucking crazy right now. And I knew the memes were on their fucking way too after I saw the video. But I saw this video of this white man on a subway train somewhere in America playing a game on his phone. And there was a young black boy sitting next to him who was interested in the game that he was playing. And somewhere along the train journey, he handed the phone over to the child to play whatever game that was on his phone. Cue the memes. Here come the memes now of like... Not all heroes wear capes, you know. Like, this guy is a hero. Him. He is a hero for passing his phone over to a child to play a game on his phone. I mean, it's not like we don't actually do that already today. Like, hand our phones over to whatever little kids do. All right, just play a phone just so we don't have to fucking hear you talking. We're going to buy you a fucking tablet just so I don't have to fucking hear you talk. Just to keep you occupied long enough that I can watch Power or Empire or some next bullshit or Love Island. I'm going to buy you this so you can plug in. Like, this is a fucking hero. Cue the fucking memes. It's just like, when do people forget about just the niceties of the world anyway? When do people just forget about just being a nice fucking person? Because all you ever see nowadays on, on Instagram is just a bunch of fucking trollers. Like, people just constantly fucking trolling. It's got to a point now where you don't even actually remember what the fucking word troll means. Does it mean a person who's gone on social media just being a fucking complete dick? Or does it mean some fucking ghoul monster that sits underneath a bridge and turns into stone during the fucking sunlight? I don't even fucking know no more. I don't even fucking know no more. And then it's like, I saw another video kind of pertaining to that sort of shit as well. It was like over in America again of like this, uh, this, 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 this young girl that was working in a restaurant. And it's like, um, she must have cut, she must have cut the steak of some elderly man. He must have ordered like a steak or whatever else on his plate. And he had the arthritis in his hands, so he couldn't cut his steak. So she cut his steak for him. Somebody recorded this shit and the shit went viral. News people come around and gave her an interview on a couple news stations and shits like that. And paid for her tuition fee as well into college. And I'm sitting down there thinking, where the fuck were these people when I was being a nice motherfucker? Where the fuck were these people when I was working like in, as a Christmas temp years ago in places like BHS and helping a woman with her Christmas shopping throughout the whole fucking Christmas department? Where were you? Where was my fee? Where was my tuition fee? Where was it? But it's like, this is the fucking, this is what makes people heroes today. Like, not fucking, not some of these, not some of these, 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 these people that are in prison right now and having to fucking work as firefighters for $2 an hour trying to deal with that fucking fake fire that they've got going on over in freaking California. Like, they're not heroes. Just je firefighters in general. They're not heroes. Holistic health doctors who have been killed by the dozens curing patients of their cancer and AIDS. They're not heroes. No. Yeah, he... He actually shot himself twice in the head. Nah, he's not a hero. What, because he cured people of their cancer in AIDS? Nah, that guy who made a child play a game on his phone on the subway. My kind of guy. It's the same shit as like with these fucking relationship goal type fucking memes as well. Like, and it's always frigging stupid ass holes that fucking post these stupid ass memes of a guy and a woman chilling on a fucking sofa, smoking the frigging zoo. Relationship goals. That's my relationship goals. Chilling on a sofa, bun in a zoo with my man. You didn't do that in your previous relationship. What about like 
your predecessor, <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the guy who used it before, like what the fuck were you not doing then? Were you just street fighting, wrestling all the fucking time, Tekken one and Tekken two type shit? What the fuck were you doing? What the fuck were you doing where you couldn't have a relationship goal of just chilling on the fucking sofa in golden silence, smoking a zoo? It's the same shit with the other one of a woman leading a guy somewhere and he's just got the picture of the guy's hand holding the woman's hand and they're walking off somewhere into the fucking distance. Relationship goals. I'm like, bro. I'm just like, the fuck? Because I can't understand how people even went so far to even make a meme like this and just be like, this is what fucking heroes are. <laughs> It's mad. It's fucking, it's, 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 it's absurd to me. It's absurd to me that we can even actually start making memes like this and people will like this shit by the thousands. And it's just like, so many people will post this shit and you just constantly see it and it will constantly still get likes, you know? It will still constantly get likes. People will still constantly comment. Some people will just be like, there might be some real people like myself who will just be like, how the fuck does that make him a hero? Like, how the fuck does it make him a hero? How the fuck does cutting someone's steak make her a heroine? Like, how the fuck? Some of this shit I've done, I should be a fucking, I should be labeled as a fucking hero. Where the fuck is my cape? Shit. Why ain't I living in a, in a, in a Edna Mole type fucking mansion? Like, where's my shit? Cause it's just like, fucking all like, it's, 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 it's like, that's what it is to be nice now. Like, that's what it is to be a hero. So it's like, if you just see someone helping like an elderly woman cross the street now, it's just like, eh, standard procedures, isn't it? It's, just, it's not even like something that you do. You can't even actually say it's like standard procedures or something that you do. It's just like, meh. It's not, it's not live worthy. It's not, it's not Instagram live stream worthy. It's not Instagram story worthy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not worthy enough to go viral. Like, you know, it's not, it's not worthy. Like, you know what I'm saying? That isn't worthy. And I've seen some shit. I like, I, like I said, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. So it's like, I like to watch videos like that of like, real heroes. Like, you know, just like titles of just like, heroes do still exist or some shits like that. And some of the shit I see, it brings a fucking tear to my eye, mate. It brings a tear to my eye. Real talk, man. Because it's like, yes, there's still people like this. Yes. It's, mm. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, like I have a rough out of show. Like, like when I come across, I come across as just like, oh, like it's just, oh, here we go again. Like, but it's like I'm a good person. I'm a good dude. You know what I'm saying? But it's just fucking hell, man. I don't know, people, man. But this is where we're fucking out today. Like, heroes here and heroes there and heroes everywhere for allowing a child to play a game. On a f- look, man. My name's KMD, people. This is Rant Radio, and I'm fucking out of here, mate. This is some bullshit. Some bullshit. Peace.